Hello and welcome to Sobriety Made Simple. My name is Timothy Martin. Today I want to talk to you about something called wet brain. Wet brain is actually known as Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome. It's a brain disorder related to acute chronic phases of a vitamin B1 thiamine deficiency. The term wet brain is a slang term. It creates a negative bias, perpetuating the idea that addiction is a moral failing, not a medical condition. It also prevents individuals from seeking the help that they need. Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome is a very severe life-threatening brain disorder that actually is comprised of two conditions. The first, Wernicke encephalopathy, is a severe condition characterized by confusion, loss of muscular coordination, abnormal eye movement, and vision changes. The second part, Korsakoff psychosis, often follows or accompanies Wernicke encephalopathy. Korsakoff psychosis is a persistent chronic condition that causes significant impairment in learning and memory. And it also interferes with the person's ability to function normally. The symptoms of WKS begin with a deficiency in thiamine and is typically associated with heavy alcohol use. Now, this is where we get involved. Uh, about 80% of people with AUD, alcohol use disorder, become thiamine deficient. Thiamine and B1 are an essential nutrient utilized by all parts of our body, which can only be obtained through diet. That means that you can't store it. Your body can't store B1. I'll, I'll explain more about that in a minute. Thiamine B1 deficiency can cause damage to the brain, nerves, and heart. Now, in the United States, alcohol misuse is the leading cause of thiamine deficiency, believe it or not, which consequently develops into WKS, Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome. For example, people who drink heavily often don't eat a very well-balanced diet or don't take in sufficient levels of thiamine to meet their nutritional needs. For the body to absorb thiamine, it must pass through the gastrointestinal tract to be transported to the tissues of the body and absorption. And absorption is decreased in people who chronically misuse alcohol. Alcohol can create inflammation in the digestive tract, which makes it far more difficult for the body to absorb thiamine. In the cells of the body, thiamine is essential for building enzymes that play important roles in processing and converting sugar into energy that creates chemical messengers in the brain and genetic material in your cells. That means for people who drink a lot and misuse alcohol or suffer from AUD like us, alcohol impairs the absorption of thiamine from your intestines and decreases the level of thiamine in your liver. Thiamine also helps brain cells produce energy from sugar. So when those levels fall too low, brain cells can't generate enough energy to properly function. Additionally, a thiamine deficiency impacts the cerebellum, the thalamus, the hypothalamus, the brainstem areas of the brain. That's responsible for balance, coordination, reflexes, cognition, memory, body temperature, appetite, emotions, blood pressure, and sleep. Thiamine deficiency from alcohol consumption may contribute to cognitive deficits such as memory, attention, problem-solving impairments, in addition to long-term physical and mental deterioration. WKS can also lead to reduced consciousness, coma, or even death. Also, this is a little-known fact about WKS. Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome can seem very similar to someone who is intoxicated. That means the symptoms of WKS persist even in the absence of alcohol. So you have WKS, you might appear like you're drunk even though you're not drinking. Also, there is eye movement dysfunction and vision disturbances. The nerves that control your eyes may become paralyzed in people who suffer from WKS, leading to involuntary eye movements and difficulty tracking objects, coordination problems, staggering, and the loss of the ability to walk in some cases, amnesia, hallucinations, and changes in behavior. Memory issues may involve difficulty remembering past information and trouble forming new memories, which can lead to something called confabulation, the formation of stories to make up for gaps in one's memory. WKS is potentially reversible, though, depending on the severity of the person's symptoms, the health of the person being treated. How can you treat WKS? The best thing to do is to begin taking B1 thiamine, also abstinence from alcohol, immediately. Now, you can buy B1 thiamine in any vitamin or grocery store. Just make sure that you check the bottle and make sure it says B1 thiamine. A multivitamin sometimes only has B6 or B12, so make sure you're getting actual B1 thiamine. 
Once your levels get back up, normal signs will show in the reduction of confusion, increased coordination, proper eye function, and reduced memory problems. Now, if you've been drinking or abusing alcohol for any length of time, please begin a B1 supplement immediately. Even if you're still actively drinking, go ahead and start taking some B1 thiamine. And please, if any of these symptoms apply to you, seek help immediately. The best thing to do is to stop drinking and get the advice of a doctor. I hope this video helps you out. Please take care of yourself, and we'll see you in the next one.